Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world and whenever you are watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel from Portugal. It starts to rain, rain in Portugal, that's a long time ago. Uh, I'm a little bit late today, but I had a very busy morning. A short TA update about Bitcoin, let's see how far we are crashing, if we are crashing to zero, what we are doing at the moment. Let's quickly jump into the charts over, bam. Here, this is the first one guys, this is the uh, one hour chart. On the one hour chart we can see that there is a little bit positiveness, there is uh, some green candles, but again in the band band we can see that we are finding resistance at that midline of the Bollinger Band. And that midline is our resistance and we need to break a candle above that to go to the top of this blue line which is a 22 300 short term not that interesting at the moment more interesting bam is over here the weekly on the weekly chart i told you guys yes here we have at the bottom these two green circles this is a start of a capitulation this can lead into more green circles with a huge red area the brown down below it that is the capitulation phase that will end with a blue circle that is a buy moment so yes it's a start of capitulation, so in my honest opinion, we could drop a little bit farther. But I can show you something on the next chart, this one, <coughs> which will take to load. Um, also the same, there's also the weak chart, but this one is a little bit more, um, le less lines. This one is telling us, look, the autumn high of 2017 is that orange line. And the 200 weekly moving average is that red line. And the 300 weekly moving average is that purple line. Now, if we would drop to 85% down below uh, the previous, pre down below the autumn high, that is all I need to say, that would be all the way to 10,400. If we drop 70% down below the autumn high here, it's 20,900. That is what we already did. The previous time, in 2017, we fell with 85%. But the drop with 85% was to that red line, the 200 weekly moving average. At the moment, the 70% drop was already to that 200 weekly moving average. In the COVID crash over here, that is the moment we wicked all the way to that purple line, to the 300 weekly moving average. Is it going to be another black swan event? Are we going to wick again to that purple line? That purple line is at 16,600. So to conclude, in the bear market 2018, we dropped about 84% from the all-time high to the 200 weekly moving average. At the moment, we touched the 200 weekly moving average, but it was only 67% drop from the all-time high, and we touched the top of the green area, which is 70% 70, 70 below the all-time high, all the way up to 85%. I just drew it, and if we do what happened in 2018 in the bear market, we could somewhere bottom out in this greenish area. Do I think uh, we will go down below that orange line or we will break that purple line? No, in my opinion, we will stay above the purple line, but we could go and test that 20K all-time high, 19,800, I think it was. To this chart, um, I posted it also in my um, Discord channel. Go to the Discord if you want to find out more and if you want to talk to people about uh, what we see on this chart. So yes, very clear for me, zooming out and looking at this. Now, if we look at the MVRV ratio, we can see that we are also uh, nearing at one level. And every time when we cross that one level to the downside, we will wait till we bounce to the upside again. And when we bounce to the upside, there's a reversal mostly in the price, like you can see in the whole Bitcoin's history. When we come up, Bitcoin price goes up. When we come up and break that line again, the bull run is there. When we came up, the bull run was there to 40k. When we came up again, the bull run was there to 70k. When we will drop below it and we will come above it, the bull run will again be there. The big wheel that we have been tracking uh, almost all year, what is he doing? He's buying. Yesterday, oh no, today, no, yesterday he bought 450, 25 bitcoins and he bought another 488 bitcoins. So that's also an indication for me that the uh, market is kind of changing its perspective perspective and it all has to do of course with uh, what the fed is going to say today and if we get more interest blah 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 yes that can infect the market but if it's just 0 0.5 that will be already calculated into the market if it's way higher like 0 0.75 or 1 
okay, we could dip a little bit more, but still, we have never dipped below the previous all-time high, dip, but it's now 20k, and if we dip it, we go to the purple line, which is around 70k, perfect buying opportunities. Do I have another chart? Yes, I have another chart, that is, I think, this one over here. Now, this, to end my video at least a little bit positive, is the most bullish start chart I could find on Twitter. I think it uh, was posted by Velvet. Um, yes, Mr. Velvet, you can see it in the top left as well. So he is saying, guys, is this not also an opportunity, a possibility? That's what I need to say. Yes, it is. This is the zero point over there where we touch the red line. We have the first rally. rally. We have a correction of 0 0.6 to the second time we touch that line over here. Then we have the third wave that's also a rally then we correct again to the 0 0.3 a2 then we should be getting this fifth wave now and then the bear market should start this is the most bullish chart i could find so it will end up in the september 2023 that bull run um, and that would then be in confirming this model so where we have the one two wave three wave a b c correction fifth wave and then the ABC correction. So just pause the video, check this chart. I really like it. Of course, it's a like hope chart. I hope that we will make some kind of move like this. Um, and I just don't want to be always too bearish. There's also bullish possibilities. So let's see. Are we going to break that two on a weekly moving average massively? Or is this going to be the bounce that we have all been dreaming of? all the way above 100k still a possibility if it's up to me because in my opinion guys in my opinion in bitcoin everything is possible i have done three bull markets i went from 200 to 1200 back to 200 i went from 800 all the way to 20k back to 3k and now again i went from 3k all the way to 70k and now back to 20k i've seen so many things happen in bitcoin i will never say it is impossible because in my opinion everything is possible in bitcoin of course we are now bearish the market is not bullish uh, everybody else and the whole economy is bearish and there is a war and there is all that stuff but it has always been going on guys um, let's see let's see what is going to happen uh, but i hope you really enjoyed this information for today again if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell please leave a comment are you buying this dip this is an ultimate buying moment every time when we correct between 70 and 85 percent that moment from the autumn high is a moment to stop buy to start buying bitcoin a bit by bit every day dca now thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again 